A prayer of St. G, Terra Inferma. It is spring along the brook, wild flowers winking yellows and pinks. Frogs dominate the air in croaks, and giant willows spread to send shade upon the traveler. How far did he come? It is said he crossed from Africa to the Indus, up to the Kassites, around to the Gauls, but also the roots climb to Siberia and through Mongolia, tuck under the Tibetan plateau, extend Tierra del Fuego, touching Antarctica. But this cannot be so. No one would go to these places. No ancient wanderer. The generations would weary of the endless dullnesses. For two, Sahara was in flower to invite mankind and the Pacific Isles had not yet arisen or detached. No, something more dramatic had occurred, occurred against the uniformity of seven continents, seven seas. There were always four winds, but these had not the power to shake the earth. The rift valley was laid a shallow crescent from the heart of Africa northward to the Caspian Sea. It was food and wars which drove men hither. How that even Japheth, Shem, and Ham deposited their seed in rare places, but the extent of the dispersion dictates sea roots. It can be seen from above the ripping and tearing of the land masses, the fitted puzzle pieces stare across at each other, oceans apart. The volumes of water which came from below and from above consumed the earth by two-thirds. The peoples of this time left no records, but doubtless they were not mystics. The societies in all time degraded. There were no holy men to call upon the Lord. Surely you were attentive, but heard only the frogs. All the kings of the earth were as Pharaoh. When shall the frogs be removed? tomorrow. Always we look for our own solutions, while hosts of angels stand in readiness to your command. How patient was the Lord of hosts to observe millennia of ignorance and confusion, one causing the other. How we were followed to the ends of the earth, you waiting to hear from anyone, whither thou goest I will go. And so by accident we roamed the whole earth, for we did not know what was sought. For excuse, a God invisible, a God silent and seemingly arbitrary, call him fate. As we were persons, make him not a person. And as we always go our own way, let it be said also of him, For we do not admit of your glory, though your apparent works are ever glorious. And too, we sought a God of action, not words, shuffling through decks of gods and goddesses and assigning them names. We shall never have risen above our own monument to the unknown God. Yet this God of unknowing knows all, knows his chosen from eternity. When they will, where they will wander, what they will say and do. Among them, the tares of the devil, to do his bidding and to antagonize holiness. The spirit of holiness ever roamed, brooding at creation and before anything was or will be. As Adam mated Eve and the sons of Noah, their sisters, so the Lord comes to us in an unbreakable union. Yea, the earth did crack and groan, and above us all was the holy and good God resting in his love.